and now you know you slept really good. First day back at the house after two weeks. guys welcome back if you guys are new i'm caitlin i thought i would do a few days in my life and make it like a cozy fall vlog because you guys know by now fall is my favorite season it's actually a little bit chilly in california like not during the day it's actually really hot during the day but at night and early in the morning it has like that chilly breeze so i definitely feel like the seasons are changing which is really nice i keep checking my phone because i'm waiting for something for work and I want to say thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Lily Silk is such a good company because they have super high quality pieces. Their sweaters are actually comfortable. I feel like there's a lot of sweaters that I have that I never really want to wear because they're itchy or they just don't fit right. Lily Silk has the best fitting sweaters. I actually am going to show you one of the sweaters that I wear all the time. I have it on my shoulders right now and then also a different way that I like to style it with their silk blouse. Just styled two of my favorite pieces from Lily Silk for like a transition to fall outfit. I have all my white boots jean shorts, the lily silk sweater, and then the lily silk blouse. Thought this was really cute and transitional. It's actually still lightweight, even though I layered the sweater with the blouse underneath. And I think it's really cute. I think it's really cute how it pops out at the bottom. The sweater would also look really cute with like a bra underneath that kind of poked out. I saw that they had silk bras on their website. I didn't realize that, so I definitely want to order one of those. This bra is a one size design. The cup strap and lining is silk. I'm sure it's super soft, breathable, or all day long comfort. What's amazing is there's also free exchanges and returns if you don't love it after 30 days. So just wanted to show you guys the styled little outfit. Like I said, they have really amazing high quality pieces on their website ranging from sweaters wool blouses pillowcases they have a little hair scrunchie that curls your hair at night i just really like their company and i feel like they do it really right i actually brought their silk pillowcase with me on vacation and i got that in about six months ago so i thought i'd do an update on how my hair skin and everything feels with the pillowcase their pillowcases are actually 100 percent grade a milberry silk they're o-e-k-o tech certified they're free from harmful chemicals which helps it be so breathable for my hair and my skin i feel like it's made the biggest difference in my skin my hair it's really good for you and there's a few reasons why first there's actually a natural fiber silk mainly consisted of two proteins so it can keep away from dust mites mold bacteria and other common allergens even with people with sensitive skin like me also if you didn't know sleeping on a silk pillowcase can actually prevent wrinkles and lines on your face and also the pillowcase is made with breathable and insulated features which makes it really cool to the touch when I sleep on it and I don't get overheated at all it can also keep your hair really soft and silky I feel like I noticed a huge difference it can keep it really soft and smooth and also styled I also just ordered one of the heatless curling sets with the scrunchie because I really love doing my heatless curls. I also love that they're an environmentally friendly brand and they also have zero waste. So if you guys want to try out Lily Silk, I'm going to link them down below. Thank you so much Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Guess what our first stop is back. I have to go to the beach. We haven't been to the beach in like two weeks. So we thought it was a good idea to wake up early and go walk at the beach with Coco because I feel like if we had something fun to do, we were talking about it last night, we are like, if we have something fun to look forward to, it'll get us up a little bit quicker. And we did it. We woke up at eight after vacation. I feel like that's pretty early. Yeah. We're feeling good. We're gonna take Coco on a walk. Look how cute she looks. And we're gonna have a productive day. I'm gonna organize the fridge, clean the house, get some ingredients prepped, and then we're gonna make another fun recipe tonight probably because we did that last night and it was really fun. That means we get to have the corn chowder for lunch. It was so good. I'll link that recipe down below. We got it from not Half Baked Harvest. It's um, Brock Your Body on Instagram. It's one of my favorite food blogs. But we're gonna go to the beach. We got Coco some treats. Burger. So she better be good. <laughs> Just 
got back. I'm actually gonna be organizing our fridge today. I'll show you guys a little haul of everything I got. Just as time goes on, I'm gonna use these packages. That's the main point of it, because I've been wanting to make more sustainable swaps in my home and kitchen, fridge, grocery shops, all that, so. Okay, everything's from Amazon. I'll link it down below, but starting off, I got these little water jars. I'll probably do some with cucumber, some with lemon. Then I got these salad containers because I want to meal prep some salads for the week. I saw this Pinterest post that had the dressing on the bottom and then once you go to eat it, you just shake it up and it keeps it really fresh in the fridge. So I thought that that would be good. I got a bunch of these bamboo lid meal prep containers just because I was running low on meal prep containers and I wanted them to match these ones. I got a bunch of overnight oat containers. These ones are from a brand called Porter. They have this brand at Nordstrom, I've seen it. Gallon bags, sandwich bags, and then this organizer that's brass that I thought was really pretty, so hopefully it won't take me too long. I know it probably won't stay like this for a while, but I feel like it's fun to do it, at least for the first time. Let me wash my berries. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you got them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood body, giving center views I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tatted up, cover rooms, different vibe you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try to walk Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher going, but we have our herbs, some chopped up veggies, meal prep the two salads that I meal prepped, lemonade, cucumber water, olipop water, <coughs> yogurt, mush, our dinner from last night, and then put the rest over with some chopped veggies right there. Hopefully we can keep it to stay like that for a little bit. But I also wanted to show you guys the new little coffee corner. I got a bunch of this stuff at Found in Arizona. It's a cute little home decor shop, so I put together the coffee corner. Very cute. And then one last thing I got from Found is this little vase, which I think is so cute on our little exposed shelves. Coco doesn't want me to vlog right now. I also need to change because I spilled tomatoes on my pants. <laughs> exercise dress by Gilly Hicks. This is my favorite thing to wear when I want to feel cute but I don't want to like be uncomfortable especially because I'm going to be cleaning all day pretty much. I actually don't have much to do just because we left the house clean when we left for vacation thank god and then also I emptied out my suitcase already so I pretty much just have to do some laundry. Our bed is already made. I'm going to take my little laundry bins to the kitchen and then I have to put away my shoes too because these are all the shoes that we bought on vacation since we drove I just brought like a bunch of them guys Hunter has a new addiction and it's Legos well it's actually not a new addiction what did you say it was a resurfaced one a resurfaced addiction I don't remember the other word I used but it's something like that wait show them what it's gonna look like like crazy wow <laughs> it's huge it's a thousand pieces. We'll see how long this takes. We'll see when I get my dining yeah, table back. The, <laughs> you should have started the timer. Are you guys all gonna like send it in group chats and compare your Legos and be all cute? Maybe, I don't know. Coco, do you like dad's new obsession? I lost my steam for cleaning. So we're just gonna hang out here before we have some leftovers for dinner. Okay guys, this is so fitting for me. Look at they're drinking matcha with the little matcha whisk. We just finished up dinner and we're trying to start a new routine where we go on a walk every night with Coco after we eat dinner just because one, it's good to walk after you eat, it's good to walk before bed and it's good for Coco to have two walks a day. We've noticed she's just such a better dog when we do that. And it's also just nice to end the day together and we talk about what we're gonna do tomorrow. We did that last night and we were like, this is so fun. We always have fun every time we do it. So we're gonna try and make it a goal. Every night and every morning we're gonna walk together. This is my walking outfit. It's actually cold out, not like freezing, but a little bit chilly. So I wore a jacket 
because I was freezing yesterday. Ready, Cokie? Let's go. Back from our walk. I literally was so hot after our walk. It is not chilly. It was chilly at the beginning and then it just became hot. But I ended up making some ice cream in our blender. I don't have the Ninja Creamy. I want it so bad, but it's sold out. We're making creamies in Arizona with Hunter's family. His sister and his mom make them like every night. And it was so much fun picking the toppings. They had a bunch of different flavors of the creamy compartment that you put in. So I've been checking every day for a creamy to come back in stock. But tonight I just blended up an Owen protein drink with frozen pineapple. So it tasted like Dole Whip. Mm. I think the difference is the creamy is made actually like ice cream so it doesn't melt and I didn't have like cottage cheese or anything frozen in it because you like froze freeze the compartments and I didn't do like an actual recipe so it doesn't taste like actual ice cream it just tastes like my own creation which is good for tonight but I do really want to get a creamy. Good morning guys, just got home from our walk with Coco, she's so tired. I'm about to make some breakfast and I also have spin this morning, so just got dressed in this outfit, wearing my skims top, story leggings, I still need to put my shoes on because I obviously don't need to wear like tennis shoes or anything. I have my oil going on the stove, I'm gonna make some avocado toast real quick. I want to go to Starbucks before spin just because I feel like I'm wasting time. I kind of booked a later class today, which I don't like to do because I either like to work and then work out or I like to work out and then work. I feel like it's hard to like start work, then stop work, then go work out, then come home. Um, taking that as my sign to take the morning off a little bit from my computer and I'm going to go get us some Starbucks. I have to fill up the car and then I'll bring my Starbucks back for Hunter and then I'll go to spin by then. I don't know why I booked it a little bit late. I just really like the coach that, his name is Patrick. He coaches at 1045. So yeah, I'm excited because I haven't gone to the spin studio in a while because I was in Arizona, but I did end up spinning at the Scottsdale Madison when I was in Arizona twice and it was really fun. I like really wanted to push myself because I hadn't been to the Madison in a while and I, I was very proud of myself. Like I just stayed on beat the whole time and just like really pushed myself. So I hope that I can do that today. Get in a really good workout, sweat, get my mind off things and yeah I feel like it's always hard to like jump back into working out after a trip or just being out of the groove of it not even like physically but just mentally it's hard to like get back into that routine but I feel like booking workout classes and then also maybe working out with a friend or just doing the things that you really love like spin yesterday I just did upper body day because I love upper body day I feel like I was just telling Hunter I can't like jump into leg day because I hate leg days but I also just feel like it takes so much more energy to like jump into lifting legs or lifting heavy and yeah oh I just saw the yellow butterfly I always see yellow butterflies when good things are coming we're gonna have a good day Wrong side. hi can I do a grande um, sweet cream vanilla cold brew yeah and then can I just do a grande iced coffee? All right, nice. What do you think so much? Thank you. I really want to try some of the fall Starbucks drinks in my next video. I think I'm going to do a fall decorate the house and stuff. Like this was a fall reset where I'm like getting the house ready after summer, after being out of town, like cleaning the house. But once it's clean, I want to go get some home decor and have like a really festive fall vlog. So let me know if there's any Starbucks drinks that I should try down below. I don't really like doing like the drinks that they already have. like the chai pumpkin drink or whatever before like a subtle sweet but I love the pumpkin I love chai so if there's any drinks that you guys have created on your own let me know down below and I can try them in my next video and maybe I'll do like one every single week and try some different ones Hi. Hi. yes thank you have a good one post spin sweat is always insane I'm like shaking I feel really good though excited to go start the day I've actually been loving this Gucci floral perfume. It smells really good. You guys know I ride or die for my C perfume, the one that I get at Sephora, but this one, it's 
almost better. But I finished my makeup. I feel really good. I'll show you guys the fall out for the day. It's not hot in the house. It's hot outside, but in the house it's cold, so I can get away with wearing a sweater. I actually want to plan out the rest of my week on my computer. I usually don't use a computer to plan, but I really want to try out Google Calendar and see if that works for me or maybe Notion. Oh, my melted Starbucks. I usually like to write out my entire week, which I still am going to do that on my planner. But I want to use Google Calendar because I feel like it's nice that it gives you notifications. I'm just going to write things in like literally everything that I have to do for work. Maybe if I have a plan to hang out with a friend and keep it as simple as possible just because also I have a management team. So I feel like when there's more people involved, just having a written planner doesn't really cut it anymore. I'm still going to keep the personal planner for me. And then I also want to order a new journal for the fall because... I don't know, I feel like I'm entering a new chapter of life where I really want to have more structured routines throughout the week. And I feel like we're just kind of trying to figure it out. Also, if I ever do start a company or something on the side, I just feel like I need to be more structured and thorough with the way that I work instead of just kind of like going with the flow, which I also like to do is just kind of like, I have to find a balance between the two. This is the first fall out for the day. I'm wearing girlfriend denim jeans. This sweater is from Revolve, I'll link this down below. And then this little bralette is also from Revolve, really cute. This headband is from CVS, and then these earrings are from Amazon. I don't have shoes on because I'm just gonna stay at the house. It's hot outside, but we keep the house pretty chill. Honestly, I'm just excited for fall because I love wearing fall outfits. Coco's been playing outside. She definitely missed our backyard when we were out of town. But I'm gonna make lunch in just a little bit. I think I'm actually gonna make salmon bowls because we want to do taquitos tonight and I don't want to use the salads that I meal prep because I feel like it's too similar to taquitos so I'll save that meal prep for tomorrow because I already ate one of them yesterday and I think I'm going to meal prep salmon because that's what we have and I always have salmon for lunch because Hunter hates it for dinner and Hunter and I always have dinner together so I'll probably do that in a second. Making my poke bowl, I have all my toppings, edamame, just made a sriracha mayo and then I have the uh, salmon to go on top. It looks so good and it smells so good. I fell off for a little bit because I cleaned the house and I finished up some work on my computer. Hunter's actually going to be gone for dinner tonight so I'm trying to decide if I want to cook, if I want to pick something up, if I want to have the meal prep I already made. I don't know why I like that big salad. It was really good when I had it the other day, but I don't know if that's what I feel like. I'm trying to decide right now. I feel like I have de decision fatigue and just overall fatigue today because I feel like I've just been nonstop. I feel like our house gets really dusty and dirty. So I vacuumed the whole house, did all of the countertops, did the bathrooms, sectioned off all my laundry, started, started a couple loads. We've just done a lot. I also put in a little hair mask with the scrunchies I got off of Amazon. They're cute, they remind me of slip scrunchies and I got them for $9. I just go like this. Nothing special for the bun. Okay, Okay. I decided on dinner, I'm not gonna have the meal prep, because honestly I just don't feel like it. This is kind of a Trader Joe's meal. You could definitely do it with all Trader Joe's items, but we have my favorite chicken cilantro mini wontons from Trader Joe's. They're really good. They're made with cabbage, onion, cilantro, soy sauce, soybean, garlic, salt, pepper, flour, oil. Really good. I'm going to do it with some broccoli, some rice, make a ginger, soy sauce-esque sauce, maybe a similar sauce for the poke bowl that I did earlier, corn, microgreens, and some eggs. Watching Love Island. Not sure where I got a Bud Light. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We'll see what I do. Do the squid. That one was funny. <laughs> I think it's funny when it disappears and then it shows the face that you're making. <laughs> 